Hey mamas! Hello and welcome to this episode of Bedroom Unsolved. Hopefully the only episode because I don't know anyone else with a haunted bedroom. So, there is a demon in my bedroom, I think. Or a spirit, or maybe I'm just losing my mind. This investigation, investigation, is gonna have three parts to it. Stage one, I'm gonna show you guys the evidence of why I think there's something in my house. Stage two, I'm gonna bully it because the, this thing has kept me awake, like I'm not showing it mercy. And stage three, I'm gonna like, bless the house i guess or like prevent anything happening so stage one evidence first thing i ever noticed this happened last week is almost every day when i would get out of the shower over here okay on this part my skin would be red and there'd be three white scratches which okay i could chalk that up to myself like i could have scratched myself which is normal but that would make sense if they were red scratches but this is red skin and white scratches which means the pressure of them had to be like pretty high so i would feel that but i didn't feel anything so that's weird but i'm like willing to chalk that up to coincidence oh the sun's coming out how nice when I, when me and my sister were kids okay because we've lived in this house for almost 10 years when we were kids we would refuse to go into the like the back bedrooms alone because we just like it always felt like something was there like we didn't feel alone and it didn't feel safe also, when, it's like, this is something me, my sister and I have both noticed, is when we sleep, okay, like, I'm trying to sleep and it just feels like something is touching my leg, like my ankle or leg, and it feels like finger pressure, specific- Excuse me, bitch! That's a siren, okay, not a scream. Oh, the sun is going away, how nice! Feels like finger pressure. So that's weird, but that could also just be like imagining it in our- like half sleep. Then two nights ago, it was 1 a.m. and I was staying up late because I had to work. And when I go to bed, I'm half asleep. I'm trying to sleep and just a photo frame in my room just drops. And it makes this huge noise that echoes around the house. I'm like, okay, my mom or dad's gonna wake up and be like, what the happened? They didn't wake up. That was pretty odd. I was really scared, but then I was like, you know what? That's what the demon wants. So whatever i'm not scared of it i was also working that same day okay before i went to bed out of the corner of my eye i just see a shadow run past and i'm like hello it was like just a shadow ran past and i saw it out of the corner of my eye so i'm just willing to be like okay i i could have imagined that i have a wild imagination i could have imagined that and then the, my mom okay she agreed with me last week she had a nightmare where basically my mom and dad's bedroom they have a whole wall that's a mirror. And this bus student saw the episode The Haunting of Hannah Williams. The psychic basically said that mirrors are known as portals for spirits and demons. So I'm like, okay. And my mom sle sleeps with her back to the mirror. So she had a nightmare that was so vivid that she woke up in shock. Um, she basically felt like she got pushed from behind, like really hard pushed. And she woke up. That's all the evidence I have. Is it something or am I losing my mind? Who knows? But we're gonna move on to stage two, which is my favorite part, and we're gonna bully this demon. And how I'm gonna do this is bang some pants together, tell it to get out. Listen, listen, let me let me tell you something, okay? Coming from a Leo, like I am a Leo, okay? Coming from a Leo, demons want attention. It's just like me. I know what it wants. It wants attention because I like attention. I'm not gonna give it attention. I'm gonna get my video out of it, I'm gonna get my content out of it, and I'm gonna leave. Like, hello, you don't mean anything to me, okay? I am a Gryffindor, okay? I am not scared of a thing in my room. I feel kind of scared saying that because of this. I'm alone in my living room right now and it's kind of dark. Please don't come for me. Let's go bully some demons! So right as I was about to, like, like, I was setting up the mic and all, okay? I was taping my mic to a perfume bottle. And I'm standing here, plugging it into my phone, and, like, from here, I literally hear this, like, this noise. And I'm like, okay, there's construction going around. That could be happening. And it happens again and again and again. But, like, it gave me a jump, and I'm, I just be like, I'm sorry, demon, I didn't mean it! Like, I actually do mean it, though. Like, I genuinely mean it, like, 
You're a sorry, sorry? Who am I? You're a sorry excuse for a demon. My classes have come closer to possessing me than you have, okay? Bruh. Don't even try it. Like, go back to wherever you came from and take a class. Take a course or two, put some work in, you know? Take some acting classes. You could, you could use them. Like, hello, I'm filming. You could have some decency to not go like, well, I'm, oh, actually, no, I want to catch it on camera. And never mind, okay. So I'm gonna go get some pants. And now this demon's really annoying me. I have my pants, and I'm really sorry if the video quality is like really bad. I'm filming in the dark on an iPhone 7. Like, I'm sorry. But. Okay, that's enough noise. Hopefully, I can annoy the demon. And Maybe it's just a spirit, you know? It's annoying though. It's time to actually do something useful now and we're gonna, you know, sprinkle some salt here and there. I asked my mom if she had any holy water. I don't think she does. But I would put in a water gun and like kept it on me at all times, you know? Just like, the demons are like, got you. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some salt. I'm gonna put some incense and be like, get out of my house. I have the salt. I say salt like that. It's salt. Salt. Salt doesn't seem like a real word now. But okay. Be gone, thought. Get out of my room. We don't want you here. We just put a little sprinkle in this corner over here. Season it, you know, a pinch of seasoning. Just put some salt here. I'm gonna put some in my mom's room. Hello, birdies. This is a mirror. Be gone. We don't want you here. There's gonna be salt over the floor, my mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, my mom's gonna kill me because I put salt everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. But now we're gonna, we're gonna get some incense and we're gonna light, light it up. Oh! <laughs> what was that? Demon, spirit, whatever is in this room, I expel you. You are no longer welcome here. You were never welcome here. This is the photo frame that fell. Please get out of my room. Just put some in there. Hello, get out, get out. You are no longer welcome here. Ah! Don't scare me like that. Get out, get out. The power of jasmine incense compels you. Get out of my house. Look, there's a demon. Now there's smoke in my mouth and it hurts. Protect the TV. This is where I watch Netflix, so I need it protected. And that concludes our investigation of this house. Did we learn anything in you? Absolutely not. Did I piss off the demon? Or you know what, probably. Okay, this is a disclaimer. I don't actually think there's something in my house. There may as well could be, but I don't actually think there is. Subscribe if you liked this episode of Bedroom Unsolved. I probably won't do anything like this again. Who knows, I actually could if you, DM me if you have a haunted bedroom if, and you want me to do something about it, you know? Let me know. I, I'm a very skilled professional at this. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the, the next episode of Bathroom Unsolved.